Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 over on Court Farms. It is absolutely lovely to be back on Court Farms today. And our first job today is going to be doing this harvest contract. Now this is one of said contracts we were doing um, in the technically in the last episode. Now if you can just give me one second because my steering wheel has done that thing again and I can't get it to come back on that is interesting um, but yeah what we're going to do today we're going to do this harvest and then we are going to uh, crack on with a little bit of well hopefully a bit of baling a bit of straw you know get some straw sold and do some things like that it's kind of hopefully where we're going to be right I think that's I think that's finally got it this time right so hopefully we can get in here with the baler i hope we can get in here with the baler very tight some of these fields yeah sorry about the uh the no sound there just while i was fixing the wheel the wheel was working and as soon as i pressed record on my stream deck it went off literally i you you, you can't make it up sometimes now I have um, done some editing to the collision on the Renault. Now I know we were talking about possibly um, getting rid of said Renault to begin with, but I just wanted to show you how I made the uh, the collisions a bit smaller. Now the big square box now is the um, player trigger, basically. So I'm hoping now we can uh, crack on a, a little bit and we shouldn't have any problem. Now. Oh, I've just realised we're almost out of fuel. But we, if if we do have some uh, issues, then we will look at getting rid of it. Somebody did actually answer me as well and said uh, get a, a full refund because obviously, you know, if it's a faulty tractor, it's a faulty tractor. So I do appreciate somebody actually answering that question that I did ask. I don't. Um, it is really, really uh, helpful that so that was answered. And I believe we need the trailer up here now. Now, while we're in, now we're, while we're waiting, I have been fixing some mods. I'm just going to drop a bill. Eighteen thousand two hundred pound for a sixty-eight brake horsepower Ford five one one zero. This is in my Discord, guys. I have taken it from Mod Hub and I have repaired it. It comes with a five fifty-one ten, forty-six ten, fifty-six ten, sixty-six ten, and a seventy-six ten. All completely error free guys and um, that's now over in my discord and we have over here somewhere we have the 7910 that's error free and we have the 8200 Q which I don't I haven't really found any information of this tractor online um, but yes it it was on it was on Kings mod and uh, yeah it was badly broken and I have managed to get it to uh, I've managed to get it repaired, so if anyone's interested in using any of these mods or the Renault that I've now fixed for the collision, you know, you'll find those links over in the Discord. I just kind of wanted to say, I say, I don't take any credit for them, I just basically put fixed by me. If I, if, I take a, if I take time out to fix something, I am going to put that I fixed something and I am going to put my working version in the Discord. I'm not trying to take anything away from said creator, but I'm just... A little bit annoyed at all the broken mods that are appearing over on Kings Mod. I, I love Kings Mod. I think there's some fantastic mods on there. There are some fantastic modders on there who don't release broken mods. It's just unfortunately there's a lot of people who are the opposite way and uh, do do release some broken mods. Now I'm just going to empty this trailer and then uh, I think what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm going to have to go and get some fuel because the Leyland is also running a little bit low on fuel as well. And I'm not very sure there's going to be enough to cover what we need to do today. Well, that's... I don't know. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll wait till we run out of fuel. If we're going to do the Kubota, we're going to do it. We might as well wait until we actually run out of fuel. I'm hoping to get the field next to us done as well as you see today and uh, get some money in from the straw and, you know, things like that. So 
but we'll keep going till we run out of fuel or we get these two contracts done. Now we are going to complete both these two contracts in this episode, hopefully. So let's uh, see what we can do, really. So we'll get the radio turned on and we'll uh, we'll be jumping between the tractors and we'll uh, we'll get as much done as we possibly can. didn't quite get as much as I really really wanted to get done in that time lapse but it's also not a bad thing because we've done a lot in it as well like we haven't done as much as I wanted like I thought well 15 minutes you know get into time lapse we we get it maybe like uh, that field pretty much done and then I remembered how far it is to this cell point I completely forgot how far this sell point was <laughs> right i've also bought a big massive pallet of diesel this time not not for any reason it's just i don't want to be spawning loads of little ones in just while i'm in the middle of harvest season so we'll we'll use that one um worst case scenario we'll fill the harvester back up with the uh, fuel now as we drive up here um if we come across any cars they shouldn't stop for us if my collisions worked right um, I could do with putting it back on the driver actually because that's kind of right so that's back on the driver so I know we're going to kind of have to babysit this for a minute but we if he drives past there yes there we go do you see that he's no longer getting stuck on that uh, on there but yeah the collision for this tractor is definitely definitely working a lot better now well that's handy Right, if he sells this, we should start making money on this pretty much straight away. Now, I am going to jump back to the Leyland because we might as well start picking them bales up. I'm not going to just babysit this. I just wanted to go into the fuel station with him and I just wanted to basically uh, 
get some fuel and make sure he wasn't going to crash into cars on that road. But he does seem to be working a lot, lot better over on uh, over on there. So do that, do that, do that. Let's do that. Let's bring that bale trailer into here now. This might be a bit of a nightmare to bring into here, to be honest. But as you can see, we are slowly getting our way through this harvest. Um, now, in the last episode, guys, a couple of people were commenting saying, oh, you know, jobs are disappearing, blah, 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 because they're disappearing too quickly. It's because I've taken too many. Um, I just want to point out that the reason we took so many is because they were disappearing fast before we took them. Um, now, obviously, I we need to have something to do in the episodes, and obviously, if we hadn't have taken the contracts we have now we genuinely wouldn't have had enough um, to do but i've taken a lot of contracts now i know personally we're not going to be able to complete them all i know that i know that the reason why we've taken so many is so that we had something to do next month as well because we know the harvest season can go into next month so that's fine um I'm hoping there's maybe like three months worth of harvesting we can get done because there are some jobs that can go up, you know, into three months and blah, 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 and we'll see. But yeah, the reason why we took so many contracts is because they were disappearing to start with and we wanted to have enough to begin with to, you know, to do work-wise, basically. That's exactly what it was. Uh, right, we've got seven bills here. This this field has built up really, really well, actually. I didn't expect seven bills from this field. I, I genuinely didn't expect seven bills. Now, is there a bill sell point close to me? There isn't there. There's the garden centre just up the road. So we might as well go there. Long Meadow, but we've never been there. I tell you what. I didn't I didn't mean to tag I meant to tag the place, not visit it. Yeah, let's go and take these seven bales just up to that cell point. We we we're stuck waiting for the the Renault to get back to us anyway. The Renault is coming a really, really weird way. Um Okay, I believe that Reynolds going to get stuck. I don't have a choice but to just go through that hedge there because that is just very, very tight for that uh, trailer. Yeah, he's coming um, a really, really, really weird way. I'm hoping he's going to turn up by field 108 and like 51 area. But he's no good coming... If he comes where I think he's going to do by field 31 and 34... That's not going to be enough. You know, that's going to be a massive issue. It, it won't do it, basically. But yeah, we're going to take these bills just here. That we, it doesn't matter of the price of the bills. There's usually about £2 difference between the price from best to worst when it comes to doing... Uh, doing... Okay, he's turned... Okay, he's turned off into Court Farm. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just a bit... Where's this guy going? Where's my Renault going? He went the right way to the cell point. He's just not gone the right way coming back. I don't... Where's he going, guys? Where's he going? Does anyone have an... an I... Does anybody have an idea where the hell this Renault is going? I'm literally stuck without it. <laughs> £1,861.4. Seven bales. That is actually really, really nice. Uh, really, really good. Um, I can't crack on without the Renault, guys. I might have to put a jump cut in. I thought I'd drive this. And do these bales. Because I thought, oh, well, he'll just come back the way he came. He'll, he should be about back by the time I've sold them bales. I've got no idea where he's going, guys. I've got no idea at all where he's going. I will give it one thing. The Renault still doesn't like to drive. Like on the roads and stuff. He, he cuts across. Apparently, he stopped. Right. Okay, then, guys. Right. I will go and fix the Renault. I will most likely drive him back. 
but I am just going to have to put this uh, Leyland in the field. So what I'll do, I'll drive this down, I'll get the Renault back over here and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a second. We are just emptying this. It was a right weird place to empty, was that? But yeah, we've uh, we've got it. We've got it now. It was still pro. This Renault was still programmed to the other field. That's why I completely and utterly forgot that this works a little bit different when setting up. And uh, yeah, it was still programmed to field 57. So my fault. User error on this one, guys. You can all uh, you can all blame me. And I'll blame me for this one. But as you can see, that one is flying through there really nicely now. So we're just going to put that on there. And we're going to do that. There we go. That would most likely be the reason why he also didn't empty when uh, when needed to be as well. But yeah, we've done 90% of the selling for both these fields now. It's a bit weird. I expected to be selling all of this field. Um, although we do have quite a few big patches on the uh, on the big field left that obviously the harvest and miss because of the collision issue. But yeah, I haven't got as much done in this episode as I wanted. I I thought we should probably fly through this field. I thought, well, we'll fly through this field. We'll fly through the next field, literally the field next to us. That has not been the case. We have been very, very... I don't want to say slow because that's not the thing. It's the harvester. Now, I know the harvester. I know people give me a lot of stick for the harvester. Oh, we told you not to buy that one. It's all I could afford at the time. I couldn't afford anything else. Leave me alone. But yeah, we couldn't afford a different one, so... Uh, we, we'll be able to get something better for next season. For the following season. But we need to buy a bit of land. I'm... When we sell this harvester, we'll most likely use the money towards some land. The shop are getting really angry at us now for the amount of mess we're leaving by the shop. We, Our, our agreement was we weren't going to leave it in a mess. And you've seen down at the shop, it's in it's in a mess. It's in a mess. The, the store manager is just constantly on us now for trying to get this uh, tidied up now. But I, I don't blame him either. You know, we... We're in a we're in a really 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 big uh, big mess now. And I, I genuinely don't I don't blame him at all. So but we'll get this straw done. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna be. I didn't want to have three episodes in July, but I don't want to. I don't want to like leave an episode. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we might jump cut the other field just to get it done. I want to be in August. I want to keep the series moving along. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit weird. Did a frame drop for some reason. Oh, also, guys, bit of an update. I have found some information out. Apparently, my new internet may be going live at the end of the month. Like, the company will put it live. The testing people have all done their things. And blah, 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 blah. Apparently, we can start placing orders from the end of the month. Now, if that's true, brilliant. Obviously, now I have to wait for my installation for the new glass fiber cable into my house and things like that. But obviously, if I can place my order, fantastic. It just means we might be able to get a little live streaming. I don't know. I don't know if I'll live stream farming or if I'll live stream like my trucking channel. I don't. I don't, I don't know yet. I haven't. I haven't really decided. I don't. I don't. I, yeah. The thing is, if I do videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, like I've done this week, it means on the Tuesdays and the Thursdays I could have a little live stream. But if I do a video. Right, guys, I do massively apologise for the really weird jump cut between the last episode and, uh, well, not the, last, the, the the first part of this and first, you know. I've just realised I've had some computer coding issues. Now, NVIDIA Shadow Play has, didn't, it normally turns off when I record on OBS, and today it's been playing up and not going off. So, this could be the start of an episode. <laughs> Whoa, Renault, where you go where you where you going, Renault? You can't believe in that there. Oh. 
<laughs> I genuinely thought that the uh, the harvester was full. Then. Yeah, from when the Renault went to get some fuel is where I did like a jump cut, and I have a, I've had a couple of issues since. Um, yeah, so if that doesn't make much sense and I've just missed like, you know, you're thinking, whoa, there's more of that field done, that's why it might just a bit of a corrupted file. Um, but all I was saying in the last couple of minutes was basically the internet company have said that they should be going live at the end of the month for the new glass fiber cables. Um, if that's true, I'm hoping to uh, get my order placed. Really, really, really looking forward to that. It's been a long time coming. I've been talking about it for nearly 10 months. Actually, it must be nearly a year. I'm sure it was about October time when I realised the company was coming with the glass fibre internet cables. Because I was live streaming and stuff, because I was having issues. And yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, going live very soon. Obviously, I'll, I'll place my order as soon as I, uh, as soon as I possibly can, like, so... I'm hoping if we maybe do videos, maybe like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like we've done this week, I'm hoping maybe we'll be able to do like a live stream on a Tuesday or a Thursday, something like that. Either that or I might just live stream a different map. I, the problem is I'm running out of really good maps I want to play on, that's the problem. That is literally my, uh, my biggest biggest issue really you can only play a map for so long before you know before you like, like Bally Springs I played Bally Springs for like seven months it's a fantastic map but I'll never go back to it I've seven months and yeah I, you can only play it for so long that's for sure right as you can see we are well we, we're catching the harvester up now the Renault should make his way back. He should make his way back really, uh, relatively quickly. And it's the Dragon Lady driving the Renault today. Now, guys, if you wonder why I've got people's names in my videos, anybody who supports the channel via Patreon, um, yeah, you get your name in the uh, in the streams. If you look, I think it starts on the five pound support one you get your name in um, there is cheaper ones than that for those who do you know get the uh, support one I never exactly ask for it but I do massively appreciate every single person who hits that uh, support button you can do it via YouTube I, I you know you can support via YouTube as well hitting the join button um, I just from a content creation point of view YouTube members, YouTube take too much of a cut, if that makes sense. Like, they'll take 30%, but then if somebody was to join via, say, an Android or an iOS phone, the, you know, Android, Google slash Apple take a cut as well. If you want to support any content creator on the internet, you know, making, I don't know, for example, farming videos or whatever game you're interested in, if they have a Patreon, use it use that over anything else but they will only lose maybe 10 percent so your your contribution to any creator on the internet who uses you know is better off because you use patreon honestly it's 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 crazy how much youtube take youtube take 30 percent and then apple slash google depending on if you do it through your phone they also take a cut as well, which means, you know, the uh, the creators don't don't really make as much as you would, you know, and you would like them to make, do you know what I mean? Like, I had someone give me a, my first, my very first, and my only ever um, super, which is basically like a, a thank you, you know, creating a video, give me like a donation via the YouTube, honest to God, I didn't receive about 60% of it. Between Apple slash Google slash YouTube, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not trying to say, look, I'm trying to be greedy. I'm just trying to point out the fact that if anybody wants to support, there are more economical ways where 
your contribution is more rewarding to said content creator so if you did say a monthly support for example you know there is patreon if you wanted to just do a one-off support you can still do a patreon support once you've done it just cancel it if that makes sense because it does it does set up patreon for a monthly fee but then again so does youtube so you know but i'm i'm just trying to put it out there you know there are better ways to support uh, any content creator if they have patreon they are a lot better i think patreon takes five percent and paypal takes whatever paypal takes is that five or ten percent depending on what it is do you know what i mean so from a content creation point of view do you know what i mean it is definitely um more reward than if somebody was to use um, Patreon, basically. Yeah, we do. We do have that as an option. We are uh, slowly growing in numbers as well over on Patreon. It is very nice to see, and I say I massively, massively appreciate every single one of you. To everybody who hits the Patreon buttons and things like that, you will get your name on our banner when we we don't have it in this game yet. But well, that's because we don't own any land. But yeah, we will... Um, there we go. We are starting to get paid. We are starting to get paid. We've just made £1,526. We've still got a harvester full. And we've got this little strip left as well. Fantastic. I am absolutely loving this. Absolutely loving this. Let me get that onto there. Let's get that onto there. Let's get that onto there. And we, are, well, we're stuck, guys, until the uh, until the Renault gets back. So I'm going to put a jump cut in, guys, because there's no point in me sitting here until the Renault comes back. Right, we are back. I have got the trailer emptied. I am going to sell the excess grain to a different location. Um, now we probably won't make as much money, but the location is a lot closer. Um, we, we know we're making money now, so it doesn't really matter where, where, where we, we make the profit from, do you know what I mean? Yeah, we might make a little bit less, but we've made a lot of money due to the straw. So we're not overly fussed up too much about missing out on a little bit of excess profit from the grain. Now, the next three contracts, guys, are all going to be oat. Now, that is going to be quite a big job. I think we, we have got a relatively big field we need to do. Now, this one next to us here is the smallest one of the three. Now, my issue is if we were to do this field here and it takes it off the big field, whatever we f whatever the straw comes you know, whatever the oat takes on the first contract has to be the next one we do we're not going to be able to get another contract done in this episode we are going to be very limited to what and where we can do so we've got three harvests left at the moment to complete in august but we're not going to i don't think we're going to be able to get all three of them done we might be able to get them done we would need a third tractor that's the thing because the running oh then again do we really need a third tractor i wait the leyland has issues yeah you see what i mean about the renault just catching on the pipe there hopefully he's gonna go off and do his thing yeah that's a bit of a weird one we're going to get rid of that. That has to come this way. So he's literally going to go up the road. He's literally going up the road. I've just realized. Oh, why is... This thing's almost out of fuel. We're going to have to bring the Kubota down with the, uh, with the fuel pallet. I think that's where we're going to have to go with that. We, we... I'm stuck! Oh, I wouldn't mind, but the gate is actually open. From this angle, I thought the gate was closed. Um, no, we're going to have to bring the Kubota down. So I think this is pretty much where we're going to have to leave this episode. It is it is a little bit sucky, the fact that I didn't quite get as much 
done. As I really, really, really wanted to. I thought we'd get build 118 done. And I thought, you know, 119 would be a really, you know, we, we'd be on with it. But it has turned out not to be the case. Okay, that's really weird. That tree is in the way. Let me just uh, do that. No corset. Four headlands. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just start that job just for now while the uh, work is going that way. We will just quickly finish this one. Harvest income, 1,200 and whatever that was. So we have made some really, 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 really good money today. It's just come in the forms of bales and other things in general but we can also cash in now 118 and field 57 which is some huge huge income so we've got field 57 6849 pound harvesting is 1926 for field 118 so those are absolutely fantastic we've now got a cultivating job come up and another cultivating job come up we seem to get the same price for everything um now we are yeah we, we can do this we we can do this we're, we're allowed to do this i just want to go and get that bill that bill didn't disappear i was i thought to myself when i cashed that contract in i thought that last straw bale at the top might just disappear it didn't that is fantastic I am just wondering. I am wondering where my Reynolds going. Right. I'm going to leave this episode here then, guys. I Because, um, well, the Reynolds has decided to go off and do its own thing. And I don't really know what it's doing and where it's going. It should be over here. Yeah, that, that Reynolds has still got some really, 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 really strange issues. And I don't really know what what's going on with it, to be honest. It's very, very strange. But I'll, I'll try and figure it out off record. I am going to leave 119 to go while I try and figure the Renault issue out. Just because I want to I wanna try and do a, a, a bit better field in, in the next episode. I want to try and do field 1, 143, I believe the uh, number is. I also need to off record and just take the Renault to the shop and... No, I won't. I'll bring the Kubota. I'll bring the Kubota to the field with the fuel. Because I need to refuel the harvester as well. But I think it makes a little bit of sense to do it. To do it that way, to be honest. I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll make some kind of weird mistake. But hopefully, guys, you have enjoyed this episode. Um, I've got no idea if it's a long episode or a short episode due to that error we were having with the computer. Just, yeah breaking a little bit but hopefully uh, you have enjoyed it um thank you so much for watching the episode and until the next one guys i'll see you all later on